So do you. Come on, Ford. Really? Well, choose something, and we can have a discussion. I may. You're the expert. But I want you. We should be making this choice together. You're right. I'm right. Uh, Your verdict, sir. Well, that sounds patriarchal and heteronormative. <laughs> yeah, I know. See what I did there? Maybe talk to Neil. Oh, I love Gary. I know you do. Let's talk to him. Just say what you think we should do. As my husband and father of our child to be born in one month's time, given your expertise as one of the leading researchers on childbirth and fertility in the country. Give it up, give it up. For months, it's been wait and see. Well, now, we should fucking decide. Where is your maternal glow and serenity? Up your ass. <laughs> that is where my maternal glow went. Really? Um, yeah, really. Why would I want you to stand there and lie to me? No interventions. A perfectly healthy woman checks into a hospital in labor. Perfectly healthy, everything is normal, everything's fine. And then things take maybe half an hour, an hour longer than some doctor decided is right, and they go filling up that woman with drugs. The popular drug of choice these days being Pitocin. See? I take a break from legal briefs to catch up on what you were up to once in a while. Okay, so yeah, that, that Pitocin makes all those contractions go out of control. Hey, why? And they say, hey, hey, we have something to help you with that. Let's give you an epidural to help you with that. And then you can't feel anything. So you can't do what your body says to do. And so now you're in distress. And now your baby is in distress. And oh, now you've got to save you and your baby. Thank God for C-sections. There, let's open you up and charge you for that. And who's collecting on that? Oh, right, the insurance companies. And oh my God, do not get me started on the mind walk of telling women that bodies can't do a job it was built, it was built to do. It's madness. It's ma insane. Insane. Same page. Okay. We're on the same page. Good. It's not a surprise. I mean, your research, mm. all your studies, the lab. How can you be one of the leading proponents of natural childbirth and have your wife whacked out of her mind to give birth? And after we force those C-sections, we keep those women out after what, three, four days? In Germany, they keep you for a week. They make sure you're okay. It's major surgery. I am agreeing. There's no need to worry. We have Gail, superhuman midwife, able to leap tall buildings and birth babies with her bare teeth extraordinaire. <laughs> Baby born here at home, no drugs. We're agreed. Birth plan. Birth plan. Because we didn't really have before. It's not like we wouldn't. No, right. How could I not? Oh, right, I, I know. But we did it. Well, it's been a busy few months. Yeah. And you see. Don't blame me. Well, who's blaming me? Don't. Hey, oh, I know how you feel about hospitals. See, this should be your decision. No. No, 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 no. Do not do this. What? What am I? You have built a career on hating hospitals. But that does not mean that you can. So this decision. If you want to have a baby in a hospital. You have built a career. Hospitals are, are, are intrinsically, <coughs> most of them, many of them, are linked to the military industrial complex that is irreparably damaged African American life and livelihood in this country for. Right, so. Our maternal death ratios are through the roof, eh? Right, so. This is not considered a, a tragedy? I just don't. Other countries don't behave this way. I think I will want an epidural. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't discussed discussed any very much. But I was going through Amazon for the baby shower, which was a bit disgusting, asking things from people. I, I mean, we didn't even have a wedding. I don't even have a wedding ring because diamonds... <laughs> so, I saw your wish list and the birthing tub and my throat closed up and it's not that you made the decision without me, it's that I, that I, I mean, I already know the Mamu bloggers on my online group are going to skew me. I may as well be a cube of sirloin on a metal stake in a fire. And I don't want to be doped up like out of my mind like a 50s housewife. I just do not want 
Um, I, look, it's important to me, Ford. I don't think you've thought this through. Uh, Ford. I may, I'm trying to wrap my head. Try faster. The house, the baby, the new car. This is what adulting is, for. Yeah, I am, I am. I, I am overwhelmed. Ford. It's all coming so fast, and, and my work, what I know. What I know is, I want an Ecuador. There are edges to childbirth, and I want those edges sawed the F off. <laughs> I just think, okay, there's too many, too many studies and research show that that women have the highest mortality. This is not good, babe. Okay, we have fought to be better, smarter than what the system has dictated that we, we know so much more. So we can do so much more. Yes, choices. Yes, choices. I need you in this board. I know. I need your support. But we just. Do I have it? Ford.